Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and we warmly welcome all of you for this open day in certificate in uh, digital marketing. So uh, once again, would like to welcome all of our participants who are participating for this uh, special open day. And then, of course, I would like to welcome all our guests as well. So I'll be introducing them shortly. But uh, before moving on with the proceedings uh, of uh, today's event, let me give you a brief introduction about Sri Lanka Institute of Marketing. I know most of y'all have done your research about Sri Lanka Institute of Marketing, but let me give you a brief introduction. Well, the Sri Lanka Institute of Marketing, ladies and gentlemen, or the SLIM, is uh, the apex body for Sri Lankan marketers and a pioneer in the marketing fraternity in the country, which has a history of over 50 years in the Sri Lankan market. The Institute, which was founded in 1970, was subsequently incorporated by an act of parliament in 1980, recognizing it as the national body for marketing in Sri Lanka. SLIM is a member of the Federation of Chambers of Commerce and Industry of Sri Lanka, the Federation of Marketing Research Institute, and the Asian Marketing Federation, which is affiliated to the World Marketing Association as well. Right, so ladies and gentlemen, with that introduction, we, we move on to our main topic for today, which is the certificate in digital marketing. The certificate in digital marketing or the CDM program, as we call it here at SLIM, is a preliminary course designed to equip students with the fundamentals of digital marketing uh, and the online communication ecosystem. This is a three month course offering an opportunity for students uh, to gain a conceptual knowledge as well as uh, practical knowledge on digital marketing and online communication. The course is beneficial for digital marketing career minded candidates seeking to acquire specific uh, competencies and would add value to those already in the marketing or the business development force intending to enhance their skills in digital marketing. Right, so ladies and gentlemen, with those introductions, we move on to our proceedings of uh, today's event. So first of all, to formally welcome you all for this uh, open day in certificate in digital marketing, I would like to uh, welcome Mr. Isuru Suharshana, Manager, Marketing Corporate Communication and Sustainability at Sri Lanka Institute of Marketing. Uh, thank you. Uh, on behalf of SLIM, I would like to warmly welcome uh, our guest speaker, Shalendra Mendes, uh, Director Digital at Group M, and our lecturer today, uh, Muhammad Ghazali, and representing SLIM, uh, Pawan Hetiarachi, and all the students who have joined us here today uh, in this forum for the open day of CDM, uh, Certificate in Digital Marketing. Uh, I'll briefly tell you guys about what SLIM is and how we operate. If you look at it, uh, we are mainly in six verticals. Uh, first being the education, we have 17 products offerings uh, ranging from certificates to MBA that you can start on. This is a, a stepping stone for you that you're starting with uh, the certificate in digital marketing, which you can later do uh, uh, DDM, the diploma, and even go up to about postgraduate programs and get up to uh, MBA as well. Uh, and under we, the second area that we uh, vertical that we are specializing is the events we have five main annual events that we are running um, uh, which you might be already familiar with uh, like the people's awards and then we have brand excellence fe's dgs specifically specifically for uh, digital campaigns uh, run in the country so annually we award the best campaigns out of those uh, and also nasco uh, following which the other vertical would be training where we run public programs and corporate training programs uh, to tell you guys about it. And we are also uh, bringing down uh, eVerl Marketing Summit, uh, one of the largest uh, marketing summits in the world. Uh, it's over 100,000 participants running over 48 hours with over 100 uh, speakers, uh, which is part of a slim brought down under slim training along with uh, uh, Professor Philip Kotler's foundation, Kotler Impact. You can further check on that on ewms.slim.lk as well. Uh, moving on, the other vertical that we are in is the membership. Uh, as the national body for marketing, we run a proper membership program uh, at where you become a part of when you become a student and you can go up to being a fellow member and also uh, enables you to be part of 
events these uh, and programs that are organized by uh, slim itself there are specific events only for members as well as you you'll be able to be a part of organizing committees of those previously mentioned event done by us and also maybe one day to get into the uh, management and executive committee of uh, uh, slim uh, as you might know slim is run by a management council uh, who are volunteering uh, for the betterment of the marketing fraternity so you can be a part of that and help grow this industry together as well uh, and the other vertical would be sustainability where we run different programs varying from entrepreneurship society to leading leo and uh, leha kamahima empowering women entrepreneurs uh, and paddy dehara and gamata marketing programs and our newest addition to the slim uh, business portfolio is srb this uh, the slim uh, research bureau uh, where we conduct corporate research uh, requirements also we put out a, a quarterly report called market watch that you can study about the newest one is uh, will be releasing soon where we have studied again about digital behavior change in the uh, last uh, one year and we have analyzed on that and we are putting out a report on that which you can uh, uh, expect to see coming out soon uh, also, I'll give you uh, a slight introduction to uh, Future Ready Sri Lanka program, uh, which is the 2.0 of uh, the national campaign that we did uh, previously uh, last year, Restart Sri Lanka. Uh, we, as the national body for marketing, decided to run the Restart Sri Lanka campaign during the time that Sri Lanka was struggling and we were on a lockdown and people were not understanding where to go from there. And now we have figured that out and people are geared to do the next level and we want to empower and encourage people to get on board with it and be driven by knowledge and create a knowledge driven economy and uh, be the driving uh, force of the economy for the uh, next years to come as the marketing fraternity. So every product that we are coming up with and every product offering that we are offering to you guys also is been a part of it. Uh, so that's something for you to expect also the campaign will be out in about a week or two you will hear about it you will know about it uh be tuned in not into it uh and this is the uh gamut of uh, uh areas that you get to experience and be a part of when you're part of slim not only the program that you're signing up for so i would uh, encourage you to be a part of it engage with it make connections uh, build your knowledge build your network and draw along with uh, Slim. Uh, and to wrap things up, uh, I would hand back to Boshida. Uh, and we have amazing speakers here today, some of whom I was uh, lucky to work with uh, uh, in my career in digital uh, previously. So uh, back to you, Boshida. Yes, uh, thank you. Uh for that uh, wonderful uh, welcome speech right so as he correctly mentioned ladies and gentlemen next up we have our guest speech coming up and to uh, to deliver this guest speech we have uh, a truly a special person here today with us as you all aware at right now it's uh, mr shalendra mendis who's the director uh, director digital at uh, group m so let me give you a brief introduction about who uh, this person is and what he has done over the years well, Shalendra heads Sri Lanka's largest uh, uh, digital agency, Group M, since 2018, where he became one of the youngest director level employees of Group M in the Asian Pacific region. Prior to this, he was heading digital for Team Unilever at Mindshare Group M and was primarily responsible for Team Unilever's digital acceleration from 2015 to 2017 both as a member and later as the head of the team. Shalendra is the only Sri Lankan to have won a global gold at Festival of Media Awards in Rome, beating Amazon, Amazon's Alexa UK campaign to win uh, in the best use of digital media category. This is Sri Lanka's biggest global accolade to date in digital marketing. Creator of Spoiler Might, the Game of Thrones uh, spoiler blocker campaign for Marmite, which is the highest ranked Sri Lankan campaign on WRC or the World Advertising Research Center, being ranked at 65 
on the WARC top 100 campaigns uh, rankings in 2019. He was the only South Asian to be selected as a Mindshare Young Lion to represent Mindshare at Canis Lions International Festival of uh, Creativity in 2018 and Grand Prix winner at Slim Digis 2019. And under his leadership, Group M has become the most awarded, the most decorated digital agency in Sri Lanka. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Shalendra Mendis, Director, Digital Group M. Thanks so much, uh, Oshudha, for that introduction. Um, so uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, I was uh, invited to speak a few words about uh, digital marketing, its scope, uh, and my experiences in the field. Uh, so I just thought I'd draw on a few points, uh, try to keep it short. Um, and start to start off with my path in the industry and how I uh, progressed through it and how I started. So, so I've always had a, a liking or a passion for ideas and um, uh, business related as well as market related ideas at the time I was doing my degree. So that was in 28, uh, 2008 to 2010 was the period where I started uh, on my marketing degree and uh, to keep in mind so the iPhone was launched in uh, 2007, right? And and we all know it's after the smartphones were introduced. Uh, uh, post that only uh, the digital revolution really began, right? So Facebook was there since 2004 or five. Uh, YouTube started in 2005. Google, of course, was there since like 1997. But post the iPhone launch in 2007 is when everything really took flight, right? So in Sri Lanka, Facebook, uh, people started using it around 2007, 2008. So the same time, um, it was at the same time that I was uh, studying for my degree. And so by the time I uh, finished uh, and uh, graduated, I had a few uh, internet related business ideas that I wanted to try out. And that's uh, for the first year after graduation, that is what I was trying to do. And uh, I ended up, uh, uh, after about a year, my family ended up going uh, to England and uh, I also ended up going there. And when I was looking for jobs there, uh, I realized the only experience I had was, you know, trying to start up these digital related ideas. So I ended up looking for digital related jobs there and I found this startup uh, YouTube marketing agency way back in 2011 uh, when, you know, you don't really have such a thing. And I was lucky to get that, but it was a part time job. And I was working part time at a at a proper hard labor type job as well at a supermarket. Uh, but I learned a lot from this startup. And uh, in my free time, while I earned money working at the supermarket, in my free time, I used to develop websites, YouTube channels, Facebook pages, etc. I used to really experiment a lot uh, in my free time. Um, so um, when I when I came back to Sri Lanka, I ended up working at a company, at an e-commerce company, which with which I had one of my business ideas earlier. And uh, within that company, I started getting into you know digital marketing for e-commerce. And uh, then Group M and Mindshare was uh, an agency we dealt with quite frequently, and I ended up having a relationship with them. And once there was a vacancy there, I, I uh, ended up uh, applying there and since then I, I've been at Mindshare Group and so uh, an agency is a is a is a great training ground uh, for a digital marketing professional um, because uh, it, it's uh, you get exposure in multiple industries and you get to focus on this craft um, from A to Z and there are you know that's it's a, it's a wide scope that digital marketing has to offer which I'll get into more detail uh, later on, but uh, the point I wanted to make uh, in terms of my path was that uh, to this day I have a passion for it. I really love what I do, right? And for all of you who are thinking of taking this course, I know some of you are students who want to start off in digital marketing. Some of you are already corporate employees who want to just add to your skill set. Uh, but if you have like long term goals in this space, and I mean in any space at all, uh, if you have a passion for it, it will just drive you through and, and, and that's what sort of helped me also. I was a bit lucky uh, to start on early in the game because uh, when I got into it, not a lot of people were really uh, focused on digital marketing per se. Right? And there were no real certifications or help like you would get from Slim now um, those days. Of course, you had the certifications from like a Google and so on, 
which are quite important as well. So I would suggest everyone who is doing this course to do all the other courses available from uh, Google, uh, Facebook Blueprint, Twitter Flight School. There are so many courses done by the platforms themselves that you should be uh, quite conversant in. So, um, so to just define uh, the areas that digital marketing covers, right? So there are so so many ways in which uh, uh, digital marketing is used. It's used for awareness. It's used for performance or sales. It's used for PR. It's also used to give people uh, an experience of something, right? So uh, it's not just Facebook and Instagram and posting content. There is a wide scope to digital, um, and it can be used in so many different ways. Uh, uh, and, and each platform has its own different uh, advantages and learning to operate within them is, is a very interesting thing. Um, and, and, and that's why I feel a lot of people are passionate about it as well. And just to talk about the scope of digital marketing, I, I honestly feel that it's one of the most uh, best career prospects out there, both locally and internationally. Uh, because one, one, apart from the obvious reason that you know there's a huge growth in usage, it's obvious across across countries. Uh, it's also something where you don't need a major uh, like uh, to start off. You don't need extremely high technical skills. Um, it's mostly about passion and having a talent for certain things, right? So it's something that everyone could dabble in, and if they're good at it, then can really expand if they really like what they uh, do. So. Um, also, in terms of the mobility you have uh, as a digital marketer, you could, I mean, you have so many options. You could be a digital ma marketer in an age, in a company where you specialize in, in that area. You could work in an agency. You can start an agency of your own. You could use your own digital marketing skills for your own business. Uh, you can even go abroad uh, to almost any country and, and work as a digital marketer because most of these platforms are uh, present across the world, right? Most of the big giants are uh, the major plat like Google and Facebook, for example, in the majority of com countries around the world, they are the main digital tools. So when you, the skills you learn are quite uh, transferable across markets. Um, so the, the scope for digital is quite obvious. And, but also uh, another point I'd like to make is that uh, digital marketing is also marketing. Uh, it should not always be segregated as a separate thing. It does not operate in a silo. So uh, your marketing knowledge and thinking is crucial as well, right? So you need to remember digital marketing is only a specialization within marketing. And uh, and the more time, uh, the as time goes on, uh, digital marketing might become the majority of what marketing is. Uh, but still, it's the fundamentals of marketing that matter. So uh, in the future, the marketers who become digitally savvy might have a bigger advantage than the digital marketing focus specialists who are not that strong in their marketing skills. So um, uh, an institute like Slim has a very strong advantage there where they can help you in both angles. Right. So it's, it's important to remember that uh, it's part of one whole thing. And in most markets, most countries, you, you don't really segregate as such. Everyone is, a, is an expert uh, across all platforms. Uh, also, another point uh, that I wanted to make was that um, digital, you know, you can be an expert today at multiple platforms, but you can become an amateur in one or two months if you are not in touch with what's happening on a day to day basis. It's a very dynamic industry with a lot of dynamic platforms, right? So. Uh, the ad manager on Google or Facebook or any other platform. If you log in today and you log in two months later, there are so many changes. Um, to really be on top of your game, you need to be uh, hands on and keep your ear to the ground. Um, and you need to keep that in mind, no matter what certifications you have. Um, it does not matter if you do not keep in touch because uh, digital is so uh, dynamically evolving. But and actually another problem, uh, not a problem rather an observation I see is that the more you become senior in a digital marketing role, uh, the less most most people tend to have less of a touch of what's really going on because they don't run ads by themselves, do any technical things by themselves. But this is one industry where you have to do that. Right? It's something that you even if you're the biggest, uh, even if you're CEO or director, 
uh, you need to know how to run an ad by yourself or run uh, certain ground level things by yourself without that you can't really understand um, the the opportunities and threats available in the market because it's such a dynamic industry uh, also digital is a equalizing force right so in digital marketing you hear about a lot of different tools you'll hear about ai you'll hear about machine learning you'll hear about all these proprietary tools that different agencies and everyone has but the truth is like right now there's no digital tool that comes close to the functionality offered by a facebook or a google and a few other rising giants right and not not only are they some of the best uh, digital marketing tools they are arguably the some of the best marketing tools in general when you think of their scale their ability to target their ability to measure everything uh, the performance based uh, auction based uh, cost model um, and also digital has a much better potential or uh, like uh, room for innovation and driving the the options uh, the opportunity to drive earn media is immense right so so why i'm saying it's an equalizing force is that this is a tool that's available for everyone right um whether you are a big company or a small company yes uh, budgets do make a difference but you could also argue that digital media is very underpriced compared to all other types of media uh, and in sri lanka is really underpriced right uh, so that really levels the playing field so my point here is that because it's an equalizer the differentiator is actually the people and the talent in an organization so what you're learning here and what you learn on like the people really matter cuz that's the only thing that can differentiate between one company and another one business and another one agency and another so what you learn uh, really matters um and uh, finally i yeah so finally um another like important point is that uh, you should always keep an eye in terms of Uh, how to get ahead of the curve in the next evolution of digital media right because right now you know it's 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 quite a popular field everyone's getting into it uh, it's not you may you will not have a like a early mover advantage as some of us were lucky to have um, but uh, if you think of what's coming next within digital within social media um there are opportunities to get ahead right there, there are so many changes that could happen in the next couple of years and decades um forget decades months and years right uh, for example social media is under a lot of scrutiny for the effects it's having on um, the society at large you hear about so many incidents even yesterday on the news about uh, how uh, social media affects Uh, and even causes death and problems in families at times how fake news gets disseminated uh, so many other concerns on data and privacy uh, so this this is making a lot of changes in the in the digital space right so for example uh, we will have a cookieless future uh, because um, the biggest browsers are uh, disbanding uh, the use of cookies so then there's a new paradigm in terms of how you target people on digital uh, when it comes to uh, your display ads right so who's going to be the best in that but also there could be much bigger changes like for example uh, a decentralized blockchain based digital platform is a real possibility right i'm sure all of you have heard of the blockchain and about cryptocurrency and so on where there is no big middle player so imagine a decentralized version of a google youtube or a facebook what if there was uh, where you know right now so google youtube facebook and so many other giants they control so much of a certain area youtube for example when it comes to video youtube controls the audience right but what if the next evolution with all these decentralized blockchain related uh, changes that are happening is a decentralized network that does the same job as a google so what if there was decentralized search decentralized video decentralized social networking so then the, something like that would turn digital marketing on its head who would be the experts then there's no one right now right but so if you could keep ahead of the curve that's where you get a real advantage in this area um you can be ahead of the curve in the big changes and even the small ones uh, the cookieless future is one right 
So keep in mind while you learn the day to day uh, uh, basics, um, your real advantages will come in being ahead of the curve. So um, those are just some of the points I wanted to touch on. I, I think I kept to my time as well or just on it. Um, yeah, so with that, I would like to uh, end my few words. Thanks and have a good day, everyone. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir, for that uh, wonderful speech. So, uh, right, so moving on with the proceedings of the event. Next up, we have the lecturer's uh, message coming up and to deliver the lecturer's message. As usual, we have one of our lecturers from Sri Lanka Institute of Marketing. So before revealing his name, let me give you a brief uh, introduction about uh, the lecturer who is present here today. He is a national award winning digital marketing expert with over over a decade of experience. He has worked with more than 50 international and local brands, and currently he heads the digital marketing division at Dalo Gaziata PLC. Prior to this position, he was a senior manager at Loops Digital, digital marketing, and he's also a visiting lecturer at the Sri Lanka Institute of Marketing. He's been instrumental in upskilling and training countless students and marketers on digital marketing and uh, how to translate their marketing messages across multiple digital platforms and online communities. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Muhammad Ghazali, lecturer at Sri Lanka Institute of Marketing. Hi everyone, very good morning. Good and audible. Yes. Yes. Wonderful. Thank you very much for having me. Um, very good morning to Slim team and um, good morning to uh, uh, the listeners. So, uh, so I was invited today to discuss a little bit about um, in, form, in terms of uh, lecturing, how the how um, how do we see this entire program and how it's going to beneficial for the uh, audience, like the students who are going to be joining this entire program. So if I would tell you, um, I've been doing this uh, CDM course for about I think more than about two years. I think it's one of the early new uh, or uh, the new um, uh, topic that we are covering right now. But the idea is that uh, this course content as well as the uh, ideas that we discuss and the concepts that we discuss inside this entire program is uh, very much in par with what industry does as well as uh, what kind of activities um, that you would require in the day to day life in terms of to manage a brand or uh, manage uh, yourself in digital. So uh, pretty much this course is very much hands on. Uh, I think from the start of uh, the module structuring, so it, you you cover the two aspect of the uh, the syllabus, which is a, there's a, a theory sessions to understand the core concepts. Then again, there's a practical sessions to uh, make yourself updated to what's happening. Say, for example, you have uh, sessions in Google Ads, you have sessions in Facebook ads where you get to uh, explore how these platforms work, uh, how to do uh, real ads. Even of course, we sometimes go up to the extent of designing your own ads. So the context of this entire program is that it covers the real aspect that as a student, as a newbie, as a new person who would like to learn digital marketing and of course how that can be turned into your real life and uh, a practical world. And also this course, the beauty that I see uh, uh, other than the other places, it's well structured, well uh, 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 coordinated as well as well delivered. How I see this entire program and of course I welcome all the students to uh, discuss and of course you'll be having I think for about three months of time you will be uh, working with the lecturers and it's not just one person delivering all. So all the respective industry uh, uh, experts will come and also the beauty of this lecture panel is that most of them, I think about more than 95% of them are for 90% of them are from industry itself so that you get to learn about what's their challenges, how they overcome them and as well as uh, how you can apply these theory things and practical things that you learn inside the classroom that can be applied in the real world. So these are the best benefits that I see why you should join a CDM or slim uh, course which is well thought and as well as well structured in terms of deliverables. So uh, those are a few things that I want to tell you. Of course, I look forward to see students in the classes so that we can discuss furthermore. And thank you very much, Slim team. I don't want to take so much of time to allow me this uh, uh, opportunity. 
Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for that uh, lecturer's message on behalf of uh, all the lecturers at Sri Lanka Institute of Marketing. Right, so now moving on to uh, another important part of this open day. So I would like to invite uh, Mr. Pavan Hittiarachige, Manager, Slim Business School, to, uh, to deliver the program brief. Thank you, Oshad. Good morning, uh, everyone. And uh, it's a beautiful day, so I can see more than 100 uh, attendees have joined for today's session, representing many parts of the country. So you may be from Kalambu, Kandy, or Matara. Anyway, uh, you have taken a very good decision to learn digital marketing from SLIM, the national body for marketing in Sri Lanka. So congratulations on your decision. And uh, this is the third intake that uh, we are going to held for this year, 2021, and uh, will be the final intake for this year as well. And up to now, we have successfully concluded two intakes for this year, and uh, we have received a very good feedback from the students uh, in terms of the uh, in terms of their learning outcomes. So, if I am to introduce myself, I am Pawan Hetiarachiri, manager, Slim Business School. So, I will run a presentation, and in my presentation. I will elaborate the more details about the program content and the registration process and the assessment criteria and other important details which will help you to continue this program without any hassle. So uh, CDM certificate in digital marketing is especially designed for the individuals, those who wish to obtain basic knowledge in digital marketing. And this is a three months duration program and the content will be delivered with the blended focus on theoretical and the practical orientation. The first point is uh, registration. So at the point of registration, uh, the students, you need to submit uh, those documents, your NIC copy and the photograph and the education certificate copy. So and uh, once you submit the relevant documents, you will be receiving a unique registration number which includes 10 digits. So this registration number will have to be coded in all the corresponding with the institute. For example, when you are doing your exam or when you are making your payments and when you are logging to the session, definitely you need to put your registration number. So once you are done with the registration process, you will be receiving a unique registration number. So these are the documents you can see in the screen now. NIC copy, photograph, and the education certificate copies, maybe uh, all level research sheet or level research sheet. So these documents you need to submit at the point of registration. Moving on, this is the program uh, outline. So uh, uh, the program uh, basically uh, will include the five modules. You can see in the screen, the module one, an introduction to digital marketing, and the module two, uh, the search engine marketing and optimization. The third module is social media marketing and fourth one is introduction to analytics and the final one is online reputation management and crisis management. So later part actually uh, we are heavily focusing on the practical aspect. So and uh, there will be a dedicated session for assignment briefing as well. And uh, the class schedule, the, all the classes will be on Sunday from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. and uh, classes will be conducted fully online through the Microsoft Teams and uh, now today is the, we are going to, we are we are in the open day so the first class will be on next Sunday from 2 p.m. to uh, 5 p.m. Uh, 10th October 2021 and uh, necessary guidelines will be shared with the registered students before the class commencement and uh, the lectures will be conducted by the professionals who are in the who are the seniors in the digital marketing fraternity in Sri Lanka so today Mr. Mohammed Ghazali is joining with us for the open day as a lecturer and uh, he is the senior manager online marketing and e-sales as Dialogue Axiata PLC. So likewise, actually we are bringing the seniors and uh, share their experience and uh, share their valuable knowledge with our students. So this is the class schedule. Now you can see in the screen now. Also, uh, I will share with you the class schedule. Here you can see the class schedule now. Uh, we are uh, commencing the classes from 10th October 
and uh, your final exam will be on next year 23rd january here we have included uh, the assignment briefing and the mock examination as well prior to the final exam so uh, here are the important deadlines and the registration will be closing on 21st october and these are the documents uh, which you need to submit at the point of registration so and uh, we will uh, share these documents uh, with you before the uh, class commencement uh, with the registered students and uh, this is the uh, handbook for the certificate in digital marketing program so you can see in the screen now uh, and uh, this handbook will include all the details about the program including the assessment criteria syllabus content especially uh, the assignment guidelines and the uh, what are the guidelines which you need to follow when you are doing the assignment so this is a very important document so and uh, we we will share this document with you all so i can request from all the students to refer the program handbook before attending to the class and uh, these informations will really help you to continue with with your program without any hassle so moving on to my presentation and uh, assessment assessment criteria so uh, as assessment of this program will be uh, the group case study and the online examination so online examination will include 100 questions duration is 2 hour and uh, you can see uh, we have allocated 30 out of 100 for the group case study and rest of the weightage will be allocated for the online examination and uh, this is the grading uh, system between uh, 40 and 64 there will be ordinary pass and uh, between 65 and 74 uh, the good pass and if you score more than 75 marks uh, will be awarded the merit pass and the assignment and uh, this is the uh, important details uh, important deadlines and uh, we have included all these the deadlines in our class schedule as well so assignment will be released on 28 november and uh, there will be a dedicated session for a briefing and it will be held on 5th december and uh, you need to submit the assignment on 9th january next year so mock examination and will be on 16th january next year from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. and we have arranged this mock examination in order to give a better understanding uh, about the final exam and the structure and the other important details so admission uh, will be issued on uh, the 16th January 2022 next year so admission will be issued only for the students those who have submitted the assignments and uh, the students who those who have made the coaching payment as well so the final examination will be held on 23rd January uh, 2022 from 9.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. two hours. And uh, Mr. Lakshan Malinga will be the main contact point for Colombo. And uh, you can see his uh, details uh, in the screen now. Its mobile number is not 70-366-2177 and email address is lakshan.m at slim.lk. And uh, if you are joining from uh, Candy, Please contact uh, Indica on North 70373-2845. And if you are joining from Mathara, please contact uh, Udara North 70-600-4055. And uh, please contact the respective person. And uh, you may get the necessary details from Candy or Mathara if you are joining uh, the respective places. So, and uh, the certification ceremony and uh, the certification ceremony will be uh, held on every year. So uh, the students, uh, those who have successfully completed all the components of the qualification, the assignment and the uh, online examination will be awarded the certificate in digital marketing in our annual certification ceremony. So the details of the certification ceremony uh, will be notified uh, to students in due course. And also, uh, I have to tell some important points also. So all students are expected to inform any changes of their contact details immediately to the respective contact point. If it is Kalambu, then uh, Mr. Lakshan. So those changes should not lead to the interruption, interruption of the breakdown in communication between students and the institute. And also, students are expected to check the emails on regular basis and all the important details including the class link will be emailed to you uh, the email account which you have provided at the point of registration so uh, those are the important details and uh, 
which I need to share with you today. And also another important point is uh, important point is that Slim has tied up with the Digital Marketing Institute at Ireland. So the Digital Marketing Institute is the proven global standard for digital marketing certification with more than 150,000 members and operating in 135 countries in worldwide and work with the global marketing teams of blue chip brands and uh, with the world's leading education brand. Accordingly, uh, Slim has partnership with uh, DMI to provide the international recognition of its uh, digital education program. So DMI essential and the DMI professional are the two main categories. So these uh, the students, uh, those who have successfully completed this particular program, certificate in digital marketing. So they can uh, apply for the DMI essential. It means the uh, certified digital marketing associate without uh, facing any assessment criteria, uh, but you have to pay for the annual subscription. So uh, if you are interested, uh, more details can be obtained from NASLI, North 7032195 And if you are interested uh, to uh, gain an international recognition okay. status, please contact uh, NASLI. Uh, on note seven zero three two one nine five one note and uh, thank you very much uh, students for joining the session today and uh, I believe now you have very good uh, knowledge about the digital marketing and especially the why you uh, should learn digital marketing as a qualification so what are the importance of learning digital marketing in the current business context and what is slim and what about this uh, CDM program so please share those information with your colleagues and friends and ask them to join with the Slim CDM program. And uh, we will be coming in the classes from next uh, week onward and uh, registration will be closed soon. So if you are from Colombo, please contact Anuka for registration, not 70 uh, I will repeat it again. If you are from Colombo for the registration purpose, please contact Anuka, not 70 87 and if you are from Matara, please contact Udara, not 70 6004055 and the candy Indica, not 70373284545. So uh, thank you very much for listening to my presentation. And uh, next week uh, we are going to uh, commence the classes. And uh, before next week, you will be receiving the necessary guidelines, especially the how to download the Microsoft Teams and other important details. And uh, thank you very much and congratulations on your decisions. Wish you all the very best. Thank you, Ashden. Over to you again. Thank you, uh, Mr. Pawan Hetiaraji, Manager Slim Business School, for uh, delivering the program brief. Right, so ladies and gentlemen, with that, uh, we would like to conclude today's session. So once again, thank you for joining with us today for this open day in certificate in digital marketing. And then, of course, Special uh, thanks goes to our guest, Mr. Shalendra Mendis, for coming in and uh, sharing all his experience and knowledge with us today. And then, of course, representing Sri Lanka Institute of Marketing, I would like to thank Mr. Muhammad Ghazali, Mr. Isru Suharshana, and of course, Mr. Pavan Hetiarajge for joining with us today to inform all the necessary details about this program on behalf of Sri Lanka Institute of Marketing. Right, so ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you for joining with us today and uh, stay safe.